Welcome back to Waze. As the year is slowly drawing to a close, most of us find ourselves caught in the bandwagon of writing resolutions that might not necessarily translate to effective changes, like Fitia Balogo had said. Um, today on Waze, we have Adinike Ajayi. She's the founder of Center for Simple Radical Change. Remember, you can join the conversations, tweet to us at Plus TV Africa or at Waze Show Africa One with the hashtag Waze or you SMS 0818 038 Thanks for joining us, Adenike. Thank you for now, having me. Now, when I saw simple radical change. <laughs> Oxymoron. That is all I want in my life right now. <laughs> Let's just start from there. Okay. You know, um, what, what, what is simple radical change? Maybe we should start from okay. there. Okay, so simple radical change is a framework to creating fast, explosive change in any area of love, life, or business. So wherever you are right now, be it at the point of confusion, lethargy, whatever it is, uncertainty, whatever it is, simple radical change framework takes you to that place, from that place where you are right now, to this place where you find transformation, happiness, purpose, change. So this framework has in it, within it, processes to take you from one step to another to another to the point where you are at this point where you're experiencing the change and transformation you What are the you processes? Want. Okay, so first of all, let's start with the first process, which is the intent. What do you want? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Most times people feel, oh, okay, that's so easy. Mm. But you'll be shocked that people know what they don't want. They don't, they know, don't know what, what they, they want. want. Totally wow. It is so it is so funny. People don't know what they want. So let's start with that. What specifically do you want? Well, so um, I think the challenge is I don't want one thing. I want a lot of things. So okay. how do I narrow down to one thing? Okay. So that's also that thing that I see people have, like, beginning of the year, they have many, many goals, resolutions. many <laughs> resolutions, you know, and all that. So now, amongst all the things you have, what's that one thing that you know can give you the several things? So, like, like what's the mother of all these things. What's the umbrella right. for Good all these other small little, little things? Right. So when you start from there and you're specific, and then here's it, you're also positive about it. So sometimes people go, um, I don't want this. I'm like, okay, what do you want? Like, okay, I want it that it's not like this. What exactly do you want? You because want you're still not saying not anything. Saying. You're still not saying. Nika, is it possible that this is why, because Fitia Balogo, I completely agree with her. Okay. Every time once is getting to December 31st, everybody wants to write New Year's. In fact, in my church, you are mandated mm. <laughs> to come with your goals. Okay. Do you understand? But it was only when I went for a training and I started seeing, how do I put it? I was, my mind became exposed to the, to the, what's it called? The beauty behind having... Um, your spoken words align with yeah. your thought that I now understood the power of vision. Yes. Do you understand? So is it possible that people just write these goals yeah. and fail at it because they don't even understand the essence, the essence of, of having that vision? Yes, it's so possible. And I think that's what happens most of the time. Let's even start from this place where people, when you ask people to write visions and goals, they pick it from the air. It's random. Oh, it's random. Something they just feel, oh, okay, this will sound nice, so let me have this as a goal. Exactly. Meanwhile, like you and I are aware, sometimes we have some things that are in our conscious mind and some things that are in our conscious mind. So we do not have a congruence. Mm. So what you're thinking of is different from what is truly is in here. That's that thing that happens that people one minute say, oh, I am rich, I'm rich, I'm rich, and another one like, ah, I'm broke. Mm, or they say, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich, and then the next minute you're saying something in another conversation, they're like, ah, 10,000 naira is too much. It doesn't align like, with the person who wants to be really it's rich. It's not aligning. Yes. So that is that part of where you're doing something consciously, and it's different from when truly that thing is really resident in your unconscious. So, so why do we need to have a personal vision, personal vision? Why we we need, need to do to that because in the absence of clearly defined goals or vision, we become strangely loyal to daily trivials. So we become enslaved by them. If you, what that means is that if you're not clear about where you're going, will anything will distract you. you. Absolutely. <laughs> so society Any, defines exactly. what? Exactly. Anything would take you off your track. 
So of what use will it be if when we all leave here, you know where you're going, right? You know where you're going. Um, we, we finish and I'm like, okay. And you look at me and I'm loitering around like, don't you have a place to go? <laughs> we could take you where we're going. And then I'm like, no, you go, you can go. Okay, stay with me. You, know, you can go stay with me. And everybody can just and volunteer. You know, yeah. go in the I'm going everywhere. So everywhere that's and no nowhere. Beach. Everywhere no, no and no way. No, no focus. So, so exactly. I, I have a question. And um, this is something I've, you know, it's a journey I've been on since last year. And it's okay. a lot. I call it um, finding myself okay. and the purpose journey. I'm trying to, you know, define why I'm here. It's a question yeah. that's just been burning. And from Dr. Miles Monroe, the late Dr. Miles Monroe, what he has said is purpose is the ultimate and original reason yes. for why something was created and vision is the means to fulfilling that purpose. Yes. Do you agree with this statement? So do I, must I first um, define my purpose, why I'm here, and then from that I can, you know, cover my vision? Funny thing is that um, I feel people feel that their, vi their purpose it's something they need to discover, like it's hidden and they need to discover it. You don't agree? So way, I kind of feel it's, it's, you know, you would know it intuitively, you would right. know it already. Yes. And it is a lot of distraction and things happening externally that kind of derails you. So in the whole grand scheme, the whole scheme, why do you think you're here? Which I notice that most times, People are on that path already, okay. but because of a lot of noise distractions. Mm -hmm. and distractions mm -hmm. and people coming to talk at them, then they feel, oh, this sounds nice. Good. Let me go oh, this, this sounds nice. Oh, who oh, is doing this? Maybe I should do no, this okay. too. Yeah. Oh, this person is doing this. I would not be bad. You know, we have the same complexion, so I would look good on mm -hmm. TV too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, honestly, that's no way it's supposed to. No. So I think that thing, we're, we're created with it. We have it already. It's in us already. But then we listen to or we, we get distracted by so many things. Mm -hmm. And that kind of derails, derails us. us. So what do you think we should do to um, abstain from being from distracted? distracted. OK, so let, let me give you an example. Okay. I'll come back to that in relation to right. something she said. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was a lot younger, like um, secondary school, yeah. late secondary school, then going into the uni. I would always tell my older brother that, you know what, I would like to know the reason why people do the things they, they do. do. And, you know, I would get drawn to books like that. I would read and all that. And one day out of, you know, out of the abundance of my heart, I said to my brother, you know, I would have loved to study psychology. I think that's the course that is <laughs> closely related to that. I would love to study psychology. Mm -hmm. Now, of, of course, due to so many reasons now, and we also sometimes fall into this environment that isn't paying attention. Right, so probably you're in that kind of environment that people, your caregivers, are not paying attention, attention. to those kind of things. Yes. So they want you to do go study this. This direction. is the right thing to do. Go Master. in this direction. Go in that direction. Mm -hmm. So, so I did. I, 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 I kind of felt like I lost it. So I studied communication and language. I came back, worked in advertising agency, did all of those kind of things. Still nothing. Yes, I wasn't feeling. Years later, I came across this training. And you know, after a while, even though every other person would come and go, I couldn't leave. I couldn't leave. Wow. I just felt like, you know, something just wow. felt, I am you know, exactly. something just felt like, this is home. So tell me, Nike, because we're trying to help somebody out there. Exactly. And it's 2020, yes. just right at the corner, corner knocking. Of another year. And it's a long time. Mm -hmm. And I see that a lot of times we write so many goals. We write our vision, we want to do this, we want to do that. You know, what would we do differently? What are the simple radical changes that we can make that would ensure that we do not fail? Okay. You know, what are those simple steps that we can take? Okay. First of all, I think there is a need for seclusion. So wow. if be it anything you need to do, first of all, you need to connect, reconnect back to self. There's so much noise out there. Reconnect yeah. back to self. Now you've reconnected, you've gotten some things. What exactly do you want from these things you've gotten? One, so you want to be specific. Two, what are the resources you have to bring about these things that you want? So your goals are there, right? You've, you've gotten to that point where you now have a clear, specific goal, right? Now you're at this point where it's written, it's clear. What are the resources you have to make that goal 
achieve to achieve to achieve that goal now most of the time when i talk to people about resources people are quick to look on the money, external money, yeah. oh okay <laughs> because that's what i was thinking that's what i was thinking but do you know the funny thing exactly. that's the list of the things you know you Absolutely. need now if you've ever been successful at anything if you want to look at it there were some things that started the process your thoughts mm. right so beyond your thoughts there are some resources you have as a person those are your internal resources. What are the resources? Things you have that you can use to get what you want. Now, I had someone, I was talking with someone, I had a client, and then we got to this point, and she was like, I don't have money. I don't have money. <laughs> and I said to her, okay, we had a goal we were working on, and I said, how did you get the specific amount when you initially, and she goes, oh, okay, you know, I went here, and she was telling me the stories. And by the time we finished, I was able to help her elicit 18 internal resources. Wow. And there was money there. There was, there was no money. money. Was and no we are money. even talking about just internal resources. Internal we're not talking about external skills, resources. Hair, quality. Uh, uh, trade. Yeah. Resourcefulness. She, she has great interpersonal skills. She's a confident person. A resilience. A doggedness. She's someone that she says to you, I want this. Because people don't know that th these resources are the first things you even need. Mm. You don't need anything external. Because you, you and I know you have all the resources to create the change you so want and to success. In other words, if you so, have the external forces, the resources, then you don't actually need the internal resources? No, no. If you, you need both. You need both. But okay. most but times people do not to check, check they don't the remember, right? Yes. People mm -hmm. think these things have to come from the outside in. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Most times out. as a person inside you have a lot out. already. Oh. Already. You're a very resourceful person. Anytime I look at you, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> our resourcefulness is. <laughs> That's something that if you know, you know you have, yes. you can put to use. Yeah. We can all create miracles every day if we understand so could it also what be we that have. We undermine these resources. Definitely, and definitely. Yeah. We are not. Some people are not even aware. Definitely. They don't even know they don't have. They those. don't even know they have. I know it. someone who said, "I don't have any talents." So mm -hmm. like, How can you even say Do that? Do you think it's possible God ever created somebody without of any not. So to the so youth, Lincoln, we need out. to quickly now. Yeah. So, <laughs> You need to find yes, your bit, resources. Uh, yeah. You need to check what are the, the things you have you, that you can put to use to get the things you, you want. want. Next, then you need to do. You, you first of all said um, seclusion. Yeah. Then find those resources. So when you've written those goals, goals, what are the resources that you that need? need? Then yeah. what else again? Aside from the internal resource, you also the external resource. Your okay. phone is a resource. Your data is a resource. Many other things. You're a resource to me. I'm a resource to you. Absolutely. Do you understand? Friendships, relationships, so yeah. books, internet. All those things are there. But you know, I haven't mentioned. Money in any of the things I've said. Mm -hmm. So aside from the resources, now let's go to the next process. What do you need to stop doing to achieve this goal that you have set up? Okay, that's the big one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need to stop doing? <laughs> because sometimes people are quick to say, oh, you know, I want this, I want this, but you do not understand that there has to be a trading. Sacrifices, yes. There has to be a trading. What do you need to learn? What do you need to unlearn? What do you need to unlearn? What do you need to relearn? What, what do you need to relearn? Absolutely. What do you need to stop doing entirely? Absolutely. To get so, you where you need to, to get, to get where you want. So someone, I had a client who once said to me, um, I want to lose weight. That's the way she put it. I'm like, okay, you mean you want to lose extra fat, some extra fat to your client? She said, okay, yes, that's what it is. So I'm like, okay, so what do you need to stop doing? It's like, ah. Um, stop eating. Eating chocolates. I'm like, oh, so how willing mm -hmm. are no. you to go on this Very journey? Exactly. Because sometimes we are not really truthful with ourselves, or so we are not disciplined <laughs> with ourselves. But yeah. we don't have discipline. If we choose, we're horses. Mm. <laughs> you want this, but then you're not willing to, to trade us something. Kind of exactly. You don't have to put in the work. What do you Absolutely. want to stop? What do you want? Another thing, the next process is to say, are there people who are already doing this thing you want to do? Okay. Because if it's humanly possible, you can, you can do, do it. it. So what is it? Who no, is it that you. is doing this okay. already that you want to do? What are these persons or people's beliefs? Mm. Mm. What are their values? And you don't... You, sometimes people go, oh, but you know, my, the person I'm looking up to is, is, is far away. Is, I'm like, has this person written a book? Have you read anything about this person? Can you take their, from what you've read, read about them, can you tell me what their beliefs are? Can you tell Absolutely. me what their values are? So it means everything has to do with that readiness for you to Definitely. put in 
that work. Put in that work. Absolutely. And it's so, at you it's... know what? We will not let her go, <laughs> but we'll continue her own conversation offline. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, sure. Well, we'll go on a sure. break now. Yes. When we come back, our financial expert, Ezekiel Sholesi, joins us after the break. Please stay with us.